Here we're going to show how to use the ASIC Repair Center. We start by plugging in our USB-C connector to power the arc tester. We wait for the tester to display the start system message. We can then plug in the 18-pin ribbon data cable in the I.O. port of the tester. The ASIC repair tester will then display an IP address. We can enter that IP address in an internet browser. This step can also be performed on a tablet or a cell phone. Before plugging anything to the hashboard we need to set its power supply between 17 volts and 21 volts. We turn the power supply off and connect the alligator clips to the hashboard. It's really important that we verify the polarity of the cable going from the power supply to the hashboard. We also make sure the respective alligator clip is only touching the intended terminal post on the hashboard. In that specific case, the negative terminal is the closest one to the I.O. port. Any mistake in the last five steps would result in severe damages to critical components of the hashboard. Once we verified the polarity, we can plug in our 18-pin signal cable to the I.O. port. We can now turn on the power supply. The web browser interface will now display the specs and model of our hashboard in the events panel. By clicking on the play button in the top left corner of the screen, we can start the testing cycle for this hashboard. The results will start showing up on both the ARC screen and the web browser interface. It's important to stay alert at this point because testing the hashboard puts stress on the circuit. Since the board is out of its ASIC minor, it lacks the necessary cooling it needs to operate for a prolonged length of time. Once the test is complete we simply press the stop button and turn off the power supply.